So a lot of folks ask me what my favorite slide is and what material I like, um, what brand I like, what finger I use it on, all that kind of stuff, all the basics. So I wanted to make a short video about that. Hopefully I'll help a few of you guys out. Um, for starters, I like my ring finger. I think that's a good place to start if you're just learning slide. Um, that or the pinky. I use the pinky a lot too. Uh, like earlier this year, I only used the pinky for slide because I liked having these three fingers open. Now I'm back to the ring finger. Um, the perk is you get a wider reach on the fretboard if you're using your pinkies. And... Or sorry, if you're using your ring finger. Then I think uh, the other benefit of the middle finger is you have a lot more control because you can kind of have a counterweight to the slide with these two fingers and a little bit of a counterweight with your pinky too. So it's like easier to feel uh, the physicality of throwing the slide around up and down the fretboard. Um, the first thing I look for on a slide is to make sure it stops before that big knuckle. The reason I do that is because it gets more mobility out of the finger with the slide on it and in re return you get more mobility with your whole hand. So. I like this one because I can get chord voicings happening. So I can still use the rest of my hand because some people wear slides like this and it kind of blocks that middle knuckle. It just holds it still like a cast so it's hard to like get a so the sliding's not bad, but then when you're trying to do chord voicings, it gets a little stiff. Even some people wear it lower like that. I mean, it can still be done, but it's kind of painful. I don't like it. It feels really uncomfortable. I like glass generally because I feel like it has the best tonal characteristics, but I don't like the weight of glass all the time. It's a little bit too light for me. This is the rock slide, uh, molded glass slide. I like the the, like the overtones you'll get from glass they're a little bit sweeter than some of the metal types of slides but like I was saying it's a little bit light so it takes some getting used to I have a brass slide that's super heavy and it has a ball tip kind of like a, a lap steel slide or a lap steel tone bar and this thing's really cool because it sustains for a really long time <laughs> That being said, it's very heavy. So when I'm playing uh, with my finger, it just gets a little exhausting after a while. And the other thing with brass is it's a little scratchy sounding to me. I, I like it with flat wound strings, but these are round wound, so it. You hear a lot of the string noise, you hear a lot of uh, really immediate, harsher overtones, which sounds good in some situations. Like if I'm using my bridge pickup um, and the tone's pretty dark. This is a Rocky Mountain slide. It's a uh, like a clay slide or a ceramic slide. Uh, they're done by hand, I'm pretty sure. I like this because it's really heavy and it's really dark sounding. So it masks a lot of the string sound. And it works really nice with like a Telecaster or a bright guitar because you don't hear all that stringy buzziness. So. so. <laughs> I like the weight of it, I like the darkness, but 
sometimes in a full band setting, it's a little too dark and it's hard to cut through. Depends on the guitar again and depends on what you're going for. But generally speaking for me, it's too dark once I put it with other instruments. But the weight of it's great. Um, another common one you'll see is something like this. It's like a blues bottle they're called by Dunlop. I like these um, depending on how thick the wall is. They're usually a little too big for me. Like a, this is a medium size and I like it because I can kind of stop it at my knuckle but I feel like I have to kind of hold it there. And then the size smaller stops at my knuckle but then it's got all this extra space up top. I don't really like that because I like the top of the slide to end right at like the tip of my finger. So when I put the slide down for single, single string stuff, I can feel as if the string was right there at like the pad of my finger, almost as if I wasn't playing a slide at all. So these are cool tonal wise, but not always the most comfortable, comfortable for me to play. I also don't like that it's got a top on it. Um, same with that bigger brass slide with the ball tip, it just gets really hot. <laughs> and then my finger starts sweating and then it just flies off and nobody wants to do that, but they sound really good. <laughs> Even there, it's starting to slip off a little bit, losing control of it, and I start getting nervous. Um, so for those of you who play with your pinky, there's a few things that are a little different for me. Um, this is another rock slide. This is uh, their small uh, stainless steel slide, which I really like. Um, that one, if I was going to play with one on my pinky, this is one of my go-tos. It's pretty heavy. It's smooth sounding. It's a little bit smoother than brass. Um, let me play. <laughs> sound you get with brass but not quite as bad so I like it it's really easy to control it feels really comfortable it ends there on my uh, big knuckle for my pinky so I can still get all that mobility. Wear it on your pinky, you got these three fingers open so you can do a lot of like... forgiving of the middle finger or the middle knuckle um, thing I was talking about so like if it comes down over it to me you can still get some string blocking and you can still curve your pinky a little bit easier than you can um, with other fingers at least for me <laughs> things I can get a little bit better with my middle finger. For me when you get higher on the fretboard and you're using your pinky especially when it's not when it goes over the middle knuckle like that it's hard to block the string so I get a lot of unnecessary noise. Lower part. 
part of the, the fretboard. That feels really comfortable with a slide on the pinky. Those are just some of the things I like to think about. Cool. Thanks for watching.